make some changes, so there's going to be a lot more onus on him, the, the Tigris man, to see if he can get on the board. He's got four goals, you know, in the Clausura and Liga MX. So Teams making their way down the tunnel on the left at the end. And this one is done. And go back to Santiago and rest and train for a couple days before... and Samudio up top. Including Bravo, Medel, Vidal, and Isla getting a start. As we are underway, it is Chile again. Of the fact that you're now on the opposite side of the bracket. So that's the context for... This chance comes here for Chile. And for Chile, it's a 4-4. Change is made in Paraguay's lineup for this game. Four of whom are starting in the foot injury at one point. Vidal has it back. Vidal cuts the cross. Vidal Nerome, the former Atlanta United star. Semi-final, maybe a final. Here's Eugenio Mena now. Cross in towards Brereton. Got in there. It's going to be a narrow offside decision on Samudio. It's a strong challenge from Gary Medell. Profile. They're unable to challenge for that ball on Mena to keep it for Paraguay. And well, Samudio then loses it in a collision with Vidal. Is in the overlap for Isla Colón. Samudio gets the header. Spinola chasing it down. Chile, we saw 2015 Copa America title. 2016 Copa America says with their opponents this evening. Again, contact there. That one's tournament and chances created. Arzamendia trying to create one off that. This is over the top. Arzamendia trying to get to that one. Arzamendia once again, the 23 year old. In the middle, it's beyond Vidal. Arangi's trying to get there. And it's going to be another free kick for Paraguay now. It's now on the run. It's going to be Isla. Isla clipping into the middle towards Brera. Oh, they will come out wide now. But Gustavo Gomez rolled into the middle. And a dangerous ball there. Yes. They're going to come out to score out of it. Rosamendia once again. The in-swinging ball. That was. And can we create an opportunity through that type of pressing? his ankle in the opener that's what bought brought Ben Brereton onto the that one was beyond him Almiron trying to chase it down Almiron, a chance to get running now Almiron gonna cut inside Almiron just that is something Chile Uruguay and Paraguay would all love to avoid if they can it, it feels sluggish it feels sloppy from Chile at times and it's Paraguay taking this game on that one's gonna be offside on Almiron now sir Martinez Pinar is clipping it up Brereton waiting for it you're getting a real eye test comparison to the other big teams. What are you looking for? Medell lifts this one forward towards Brereton. Good so far, but that last touch, that last cross in that moment, the decision making has let them down again. In the sides right now is a chance on a giveaway coming forward there. Middle, it's going to chance for a fall now for Samudio. Goes back across. And on some pressure there from Samudio. Picks it up on their own, gets it away to the near side of Spinola, crossing in. It's going to get the speed to get there from Almiron, able to get there in the end. The last two games, here's Vargas back from Brereton. Able, as we said, this is a lot about avoiding finishing in fourth in this. The far side, there's an India trying to run Isla. Chin is back on the same page and can ride again. Alonso lobbing it up towards the corner. On their own, now Newcastle, you out in the Premier League, will whip this one into the back post. Hey, And it's Brian Samudio, his first international goal. Paraguay take the lead, finally taking advantage of their chances against Chile. Still, Espinola kicking him in Brereton, keeping the ball. There's a tackle. Martinez keeps it himself. Arzamendi into the middle. Cut back. He's trying to spin out of the double team. Paul's going to have a look up, goes back. There you go. Paraguay back in possession again. Off of that foul, Gonzalez up in the air to get it. Long run for Samudio, not going to track. It was knocked off Brereton. Vargas there in the 33rd minute that gave him a goal. As this one comes in, Bravo doesn't get it. He won the race with Vidal to get there. He had the strength and a wrestling match with Vidal. To this group. Vargas couldn't go anywhere with it. He's trying to dive back into it. Now Lucena thinking about it. Let's it fly. Is running forward. Vargas trying to get that pass away. 
with still a match to go as it stands. Brera to the cuts inside, poked away. Mana holds it up, and it's going to go the other way for a free kick against Brera to teams right now. Back to our king stars for this game, but they have the lead at the break. And let's see if Paraguay can retain that pressure that they had, and they are already. Again, Samurio handing off Juan, or Zementia waiting for support, clipping it. Wide it goes for Villasante, his cross on the deck. Didn't have enough. Along, Manessis brings it down really well. Raritans in the middle, that crosses to found the line. That ball just hooked to stay in play for Manessis. Able to dance away for the eight. Some very experienced goalkeepers. Manessis out swinging ball to the far post. Almost a chance for Raritan there. You see her all to... Pinares able to control that ball, keep it in play. He goes down in the tangle with Samudio, who's back out there. As Luis Suarez scored that goal for Uruguay the other night. They're already thinned out. Eric Pulgar had been... Martinez got it in. Gonzalez got knocked down. Arzamendi it's reacted to penalty. penalty. Penalty for Paraguay. Carlos Gonzalez was sandwiched and taken down. Wilmar Roldan points to the spot. And Paraguay a chance to add their second. I mean, look. On their own. Scores! Paraguay lead 2-0. The frustration from Bravo at the end of it. The joy from all More than three years later, Vidal looking long. That's not going to work. As we hit, we're going to manage the next 10 minutes of this game, trying to keep the pressure away from challenging in the air. There's a Mendia battling up in there. Vidal comes. Almiron on Gary Medell. Almiron holds it up, crosses in, not going to find Gonzalez sent in behind by Sierra Alta out for a goal. Giveaway. Almiron, can he bring it down? Oh, yes, he can. Almiron into the middle. The man of the match for them. Is with crossing. Romero with that distinctive walk up. Dahl is back to get it. It's held in by Almiron. The juggle. Oh, Almiron gets dragged down. Referee says nothing this time. Oh, wow. Well, a couple things here. I, I, you said Medell got. Opportunities where they're leaving their defenders 1v1 for a quick count. Down by Galdames. Able to get it away to Isla. Isla will lift this. He's. Able to play it in for Pinares. Pinares cutting it back was not. Almiron clips it back out wide to Romero. Gomez to take. Now swinging ball. Gonzalez up for the head of their shouting for a handball. Chile Vidal is yelling at the referee that that was a handball on Carlos Gonzalez. To the monitor. He's saying no penalty. Yeah. Slave.